Hey Libra, welcome back to Soul Vibin' with Carrie back again with another tarot card reading here for you for the month of February 2021 forecast and predictions. So we're going to tune into tarot to see what's coming up around you. Okay, your energy and basically overall highlights for the month. So this is just a general reading, so make sure you tune into all your signs to make sure you know, you get an overall view of what your month is going to look like, Libra. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you clicking on my video and subscribing to my channel if it is that you have done so. <laughs> so if you haven't done so and if you would like to see more readings like mine, go ahead and just hit the subscribe button and notification bell, please. So Libra, what I'm seeing, what I'm seeing here, what I have here for you is your astrology moon cards which is what i'm going to start off with okay they're going to set the overall tone i can already see because i placed this creative stone on top of it i feel like this is going to tell you um some answers that maybe have to do with something creative you're starting also libra this is going to tell me the work your light oracle so things coming up around you as well as your moon um cards which are going to tell me what's going on around the new moon and full moon for february this is your self-care oracle your spirit guide for the month and of course your tarot so i'm gonna go ahead and clear my space up move my stones around and i will see you at your reading in just a couple seconds okay okay libra so let's go ahead and get your astrology card first to see what's coming up what's the overall tone for your for your horoscope here your tarot horoscope okay so libra sun moon rising venus okay back of the deck energy we get faith ninth house so we get saturn truth Okay, so that's going to be highlighted for you. Maybe some of you are going to be seeking truth or finding truth or being truthful is going to be something that plays a big part in your um, life for February 2021. Also with Saturn, I feel like Saturn rules dedication, hard work, determination as well. Let's go ahead and see what's coming up around you for the new moon, please. New moon for Libra. New moon for Libra. Now, let me know if you guys, I mean, do you guys care if I shuffle on screen or not? I mean, I can always just skip, you know, through the shuffling and go straight into your reading. But I don't know if people like to see the shuffling or, you know, I don't know. So we're on the new moon. You need to release. And I'm going to get one for the full moon as well. Full moon card here for Libra for February. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and tune into your tarot, Libra. So, uh, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Beginning of February, middle of February, and end of February, please. All right, Libra, you go ahead and tune into the energy of your cards here. Okay, Libra, so what I'm seeing here um, with this Ace of Cups is very beautiful energy to start off February 2021 because with the Ace of Cups, this is all about new love, okay, new beginnings in love. Now, this can be, this can be platonic or in romantic relationships as well. I definitely get a sense of romance coming for you this month, especially maybe with somebody like this King of Pentacles, somebody who's really stable, really grounded, has their money in the right places is what I'm hearing as well. Okay, somebody can, who can also be like you, who values themselves, okay? Who knows what they want. They have a career, a really good career, okay? Um, for others of you who are not even you know, don't even care about love at the moment. I do see something coming for you though, okay? Now this can be with a new job, okay? Major stability, 
uh, coming in for you around the second week of February. With this King of Pentacles here, I feel, I feel like you're going to be very grounded. And all your ideas are going to seem to be taking, um, taking off, okay? It's like you have a lot of grounding energy, but also with the Seven of Cups, I see here that you you have a lot of imagination or a lot of things or thoughts that maybe many choices as well for some of you okay like opportunities so many opportunities coming your way it's like you don't even know which one to pick okay you're gonna have um a sense of alluring okay it's like you're gonna attract love very easily and you're not even gonna know how or why okay now this is gonna require for you to meditate on on different aspects or situations that you're gonna be dealing with this month but what I see here is it's all beautiful, all positive. Okay, but you're really going to have to just take some time out to really think about what it is that you want because I feel like all the options coming your way may be a little bit overwhelming even, right? <laughs> so meditating a little bit on what it is you want will really ground your energy, okay? Oh, so nice, Libra. Okay, let me go ahead and see what Saturn is all about here with number six. Okay, six is all about love though, the number six. And then you get, so it's like new love coming your way. For some of you, this is definitely someone, and this can be a Taurus. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I'm getting, but it's strong on the Taurus energy. Okay, someone who, you know, may may have been looking for something for you, with you, okay? Maybe you have been through this with this person already, okay? But you can just really meditate or think about what it is you want. Okay, let's go ahead and see what this number six is about, though. So Libra, we get the Emperor, no, sorry, no, the Three of Swords, okay, the Saturn is Three of Swords, which is all about restriction, penalties, shattering experiences, disappointment, and growth, so that's what Saturn is about, overall what I'm getting is um, you staying grounded, okay, and you working towards what you want, okay, being this King of Pentacles, and I see there's a lot of things you may want. It's going to require patience, okay? So if you wanted to start a new job or a new something, I feel like this this is going to take off this month where you're getting a lot of ideas of different avenues or different um, money opportunities that may be coming your way. This is not a, a money reading, but I do just want to say that I will have a money reading coming up soon. So if you're interested in watching that, um, really tune into it because I definitely see something for money here for you. Okay. Yeah, so for some of you, this this month of February is going to require you guys to just be a little bit of, you know, patient. It's really going to test your patience because I feel like you just want to go, go, go with your feelings. But, you know, you're going to be asked to, you know, kind of take it down a notch towards the end. And let's go ahead and see what's coming up. So you get what do you need to release, right? For the new moon, it's it's talking about, you know, leaving things in the past as they are. And then as the moon grows, you get be bold and make the first move. So some of you may be offering this to somebody. Show the world the real you, okay? Your dreams need a practical plan, which is very interesting because that's exactly what I'm getting. I feel like you're going to be yourself. And even though this isn't really yourself, right? Because you get the pentacles, which is earth energy. You're usually air. But e even if this isn't like you, I feel like even then, like people are going to be magnetized to you in some type of way where they're going to offer you things or you're going to get, you know, invitations to places and stuff like that. You're going to be very alluring either way. Okay. Just by being yourself, <laughs> basically is what I'm getting. Also with your dreams, need a practical plan with full moon and Taurus again. Okay. You get Taurus, which is all about earth energy. Okay. Grounding, um, material wealth, stuff like that. Um, and then you get this card. It's like you guys really need um, to meditate on what it is you want in order to ground your energy, okay, with your dreams. Some of you may, may also be having like crazy dreams around that time too is what I'm seeing. Okay, let's go ahead and tune into your Work Your Light Oracle for Libra, please. Oh, okay, I'll take those. It's a lot of them, but I feel like they came out for a reason. So let's go ahead and see. So we get dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Definitely a shift of energy for you guys, okay? Wow, okay. Wow, yeah, that's definitely confirmation for something I just saw here. But soul family, calling your tribe. You don't have to do this alone. So some of you guys can, you know, ask for help. Reach out to someone who you're close to, okay? Hmm. 
You're definitely being asked to connect with other people though, okay? Give other people your love and give other people your support as well, okay? With this this card, you don't have to do it alone. And the Ace of Cups, I feel like it's okay to, you know, come out and share your emotions with other people. This is really going to help you, like, be this King of Pentacles energy where you're grounded and you're stable and you're feeling good about yourself and your self-worth because other people are loving your energy around this time, Libra. Also, get grounded, okay? Empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature. Connecting with nature is really going to help you out. Get grounded, okay? With all the energy you, you're going to get and all these all these ideas you're going to be getting towards the middle end of um, February, ground your energy, okay, Libra? Because I feel like they, they can be something very promising here. But you're really going to have to work on, you know, how should I start this off? And spending time alone to really see how it is you can take take off all these, all these wonderful ideas you're getting. Also, you get priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? The king of pentacles is all about leading, okay? Leading and, and, you know, showing the world the real you. This is all has to do with leadership, okay? Showing the world the real you, okay? Being a leader, being bold, making the first move. That's all about leadership, you guys. Wow. Libra, it seems like at the month of February, you're being called to step out of your comfort zone just a bit, okay? Pave a new path. Yeah, definitely. Maybe around the 11th. Here, the 11th of February, okay? Also, tuning into your horoscope, okay, is what I'm seeing. But around the 11th, you're going to be paving a new path, okay? Yeah. It's like, this is, it's almost like it's your time to show people what you have. And people are going to be really attracted to you because of your energy in general. Towards the end of the month, though, I do see that um, some of you may, may be required to, you know, step step down a little bit and um, have some patience with someone or those around you as well, okay? Some of you may need to help someone towards the end of the month, though, because you did get this at the end and then patience. I feel like some of you, um, someone may be looking out or looking to you for advice, okay, advice or leadership in some type of way this may be family someone someone's looking to you for advice okay someone's gonna come and reach out to you towards the end of february let's go ahead and get a spare animal for you libra spirit animal please okay so we get the nightingale share your voice okay share your voice say what you got to say speak your mind out let's get one more for you Yeah, communication. Because the uh, air element is all about communication, thinking, clear thinking, and then you get the four swords here. Okay, patience. You get the cheetah. Okay, the cheetah is all about fast forward movement, a fire sign as well, is what's being reminded. It reminds me of like fire, right? Fire sign, cheetah. The desert. Uh, let's see what the cheetah is all about, though. Give me a sec. Cheetah, where are you? Mm -hmm. I can't find it. Here it is. Yeah, solar force action achievement. Yeah. Achieves anything, boundless energy. Impatience, competitive. So, yeah, some of you may be feeling a little impatient. Okay, don't worry about it. Don't even compare yourself to other people. You have what you have. You're very unique is what I'm hearing as well. And Libra, with this cheetah energy, I feel like it's in the reverse. So I feel like some of you may be requiring a lot of patience towards the end of the month in some type of way, okay? Because someone's going to be coming to you, asking for your help as well. And you're going you're gonna to give them the, the advice they need because you're the king of pentacles in this situation, okay? You have, you have self-worth. You have um, a lot of value to you. Let's get your self-care oracle, Libra. Libra, sun, and rising. Ooh. It didn't even give me a time to shuffle. I need a shuffle. I feel like I needed a shuffle with this one. Let's go ahead and shuffle for Libra, please, for uh, self-care oracle for February. What's the highlights? What should they focus on? What should Libra focus on during February?
Oh, we get sex. Some of you, that's something you're going to be focused on. Okay, with this, um, maybe some of you are going to be really fantasizing about someone and it's going to be, maybe it's this person, maybe you're going to meet someone and it's like, uh, you're going to require that extra patience, you know, because this person might just be the one, you know, <laughs> for some of you, this person might be like this super handsome, like just like you, perfect for you, fits like a glove, something like that. <laughs> get one more for you, okay? You also get the number 44. Ooh, massage. <laughs> so Libra, so I definitely suggest you stick through to those because I feel like some of those are going to come out for you. But um, little strikes of balance. Sweet treat. Very sweet. Okay. Massage. Maybe a sweet massage or a sensual massage is what I'm hearing as well with all these cards here. It's like maybe some of you are going to get, maybe some of you are going to get a massage. That's why you're going to be relaxing, right? <laughs> this person's relaxing here. All right. Maybe this is going to start off as a massage or something very sensual. Very, very, um, Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Someone's coming for you. <laughs> Someone's coming for you, Libra. I see it. I see it coming. I feel like they're going to invite you out. Maybe sometime around, you know, before, mm-hmm, beginning of February. Um, Cheetah here. This may be a fire sign coming after you. I feel like, you know, you may be looking away, but this person's, like, charging forward towards you. They really want you. <laughs> okay, Libra. So let's go ahead and see what these have for you these little strikes of kindness and balance here okay Ugh. so wow okay so i just yeah stretch yourself try something you think you'd be terrible at okay so you're being called to maybe try yoga out okay or dance do something to change your energy okay dance do yoga do something different also, learn the names of the people you see regularly, like your barista, mail carrier, doorman, okay? <laughs> Maybe some of you are going to be connecting with someone, like, around you, is what I'm hearing. Seek out the least populated area you can find. Change your energy. So I'm not going to read that one for you yet. I'll, I'll, I'll wait for that one, but have someone teach you something you don't know how to do. Pay it forward. Cover someone's bridge tool. Buy their coffee, etc. If you guys want to buy my coffee, you're more than welcome to, you know. <laughs> Without assessing or judging, simply look around. So you're getting a lot of looking around here as well. Okay. Do a home swap, whether it's across town or across the world. Wow. Okay. Okay, okay. I see those. And the last but not least, you guys won't even believe this one. <laughs> Give each other your best streep, streep, strip tease or lap dance. Okay, so this is a little spark of passion. Maybe some of you are going to be doing that for someone special here during the month of February. Or maybe that's just an idea for you and your special person to get it on okay libra thank you so much for tuning in that is all i have for you remember to tune in to later on this week for your money and career tarot reading as well as your love reading okay because i see something very passionate for your love reading here okay um subscribe and turn on the post notifications i will see you guys next time bye